Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke and the forecast. Hi, Kristen. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. We're going to be looking at showers and thunderstorms developing again this weekend. Good monsoonal flow here uh, with moisture from the southwest to the northeast. That will be our primary primary areas that we'll see the showers and storms. And we'll have to watch for isolated flooding with heavy rain, especially up in the northeast. Wettest, of course, again, southeast or northeast and southwest this weekend. And we'll be looking at spot thunderstorms again each evening for the metro area tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday. And then going into the weekend as well, down the south, more moisture there and an area of low pressure will mean better chances of showers and thunderstorms there. So we'll really have to watch for flooding potentially there. Your seven-day forecast for the metro highs will remain in the mid-90s. Our best chance of rain will come on Sunday and next week. It looks like we're going to keep the moisture around with a decent chance of showers and storms each afternoon. Albuquerque police might have a break in the city's latest suspicious death. APD says the woman in these surveillance photos is now a person of interest in the death of a man found bloodied in his apartment Tuesday morning. Neighbors discovered the body in the apartment complex at 729 Broadway, just south of Cole. Police haven't released how the unidentified victim died. Now, according to the timestamp on the surveillance photos, they were taken at the Circle K on Central near Dallas Northeast the day before the man was found dead. If you have any information about this, call APD. One man is dead, another in the hospital with critical injuries after the car they were in riding in rolled. Investigators say alcohol is a factor in the crash. Torrance County Sheriff says the crash happened just west of Estancia before 10 last night. He says the car skidded 400 feet before rolling several times. Both men were ejected. The 37-year-old passenger died at the scene. The driver is in critical condition. Deputies say alcohol and high speeds are to blame. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great weekend, everybody.